There was there was a time once when I was in Nigeria actually quite recently. Um, there's a whole new wave of this whole kind of light skin versus dark skin girls going on, which is very very sad actually. It makes me very very sad. But um, I was told by a, a boy that uh, I'd be better looking if I was lighter skin, but it's such a shame. But I just laughed in his face and told him he was a loser. So. <laughs> but um, but it didn't actually make me feel bad. It just actually made me realise how sad it is that that's that's how people are now portraying beauty is literally by how light skin or dark skin you are. It's very sad. This is Adora, uh, Adora Mba. Um, I was born in London, um, but my father's Nigerian and my mother's from Ghana. I feel that I've lived in many different um, places in the world, like Nigeria, Ghana, uh, New York, Frankfurt, but London's always been home, and I don't know why. I mean, our weather's not the best. It's it's always cold and wet, but um, there's something about London that when you when you live here and you're part of it, it's just it feels right. Especially here at High Park, and even if it's winter or it's sunny, it's just you get lost here, you know, you can forget you're in London, especially when you get deep into the park and you can be anywhere. I, I wear jeans a lot, 99% of the time, um, love flats, trainers, but then at the same time, um, I love to wear dresses and heels. Uh, I wear a lot of black, <laughs> I don't know why, um, but um, if, if there's an influence, slightly bohemian, I would say um, a little bit rocky sometimes, or ripped jeans. I like to think I'm one of the more laid back people that like, I don't care, but I, I'd be lying. I'm I'm that person that if I have a chip nail in my manicure, I'm really upset. <laughs> um, so I think um, I think I got that from my mother, actually. I just, um, you know, she always looks so impeccably done. So if my hair's messy or I have a stain or um, I'm not neat, so I, 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 I feel that you know, I'm not my best. Um, but confidence-wise as well, I think so, because when, when I, I when my appearance is good and I feel my best, you know, the way I look and the way I dress or whatever, it, it projects in the way I am. I mean, we all have something, I guess. Um, me, personally, it's more... Um, in, I would like to be a little bit more toned in my, in my body, but that's because I used to be very sporty, so now that it's all soft and gone down south, it's very upsetting. <laughs> um, I mean, I've, I used to, when I was younger, I didn't like the size of my boobs because they're very big. Um, but as I've grown up, that's become an asset, not, <laughs> not something I want to get rid of. Um, but, I mean, I improved my teeth. I had I used to have a gap in my tooth, and so I wore train tracks for like two weeks. I um, mean, two years. Um, so, and funny thing is I didn't actually notice that was an issue until other people in schools are teasing me about it. <laughs> so I've never got it. <laughs> So, other than that, uh, I, I would maybe be a little bit taller if I could, but other than that. No, my appearance never made me feel bad. Um, I have felt obviously different quite a few times. Um, you know, being in London, I guess, that just goes the territory. Sometimes you are in, in places where, especially old English places, where um, you're not really used to seeing um, a black person of colour, one, and also because I speak like this. My first day in prep school, I was eight years old, and I was in, in my prep school's a boarding school in the countryside. There was they never had a black person in school, or, and I was the first one. And I remember um, I had braids, like um, coming from my mom braided my hair before school started, and um, I didn't think anything of it till my first class. A girl asked me why I had snakes in my hair. And then I realised. <laughs> but then the good thing is I didn't take it so badly. I actually more explained that, you know, this is, you know, I have to braid my hair since my mum does it so that I don't have to look after it all the time. And then they all wanted to have braids. And then all the girls are asking their mums for braids at school. Yeah. I'm the more curvier of my friends. And there's sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes there's this pressure that, you know, maybe it's better if you're slimmer. Um, that I maybe I put it on myself to be very honest. I don't know if it's media, but I mean, it probably is. But I feel sometimes I'm always like, ah, oh, you know, maybe I should be a little bit skinnier, a little bit slimmer. I need to fit into those size zeros and maybe some of those size two. Um, but um, no, I mean, yeah, I think it, it's, it feels more like maybe it's more like a w women pressurizing women rather than 
external factors. I think women, you know, some, sometimes we can be very competitive with each other. Um, not not in a bad way. I think we appreciate each other's style, we appreciate each other's look. But there's sometimes this kind of competition on being. I mean, I, I might have this. I went to an all girls school, <laughs> but sometimes there's this competition on being uh, the slimmest, the tallest, the you know that kind of thing. Um, but as I've gotten older, I've, it, I've cared less and less and less. It's just really funny. The older I get, the more I love that I look different to everyone. So I love that people are surprised when they see me. You, you know, you sound different than people we've met from Africa. You look different. And I'm like, yeah, and I like that. I like feeling unique. I don't want to look like anyone else. Um, I love that there's no one else like me. Um, kind of makes me feel a little bit special, I guess. And, I, and who doesn't want to feel special? <laughs> I think it's one of the things that it's sometimes about talking to myself like um, I, I think this is when having amazing family and friends and people around you because if, you know, if they are always the love they give you was reminding how much they love you or the way you look you know getting compliments oh I love your little boots or whatever um, but I think I guess it's an innate thing if I can tell myself that I'm okay and I like the way I look then that's what matters really. I think like it's in a message from about beauty. I would say let's we shouldn't be so hard on ourselves. You know, we're we're so much prettier than we think we are. And you know, I think you know, every morning we should look in the mirror and go, you know what? I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> um, and then just generally love yourself for who you are. Because um, if you don't love yourself, then no one else is gonna love you.